I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel quest. Hi guys, this is Rob from RV Travel Quest. And I wanted to welcome you to uh, the channel. And once again, this is Cinder, our RV travel buddy. <laughs> Probably saw our little uh, stuffed animals we have for uh, Cinder. You'll find them on uh, RV Travel Buddy. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you today about is we're going to be doing another video a couple of days from now. It's now uh, Thursday. And what I wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about, and I was on a hangout yesterday and a lot of people we don't haven't told people about things that we do and what we have and uh, so this video is on RV travel quest which happens to be our video for personal RVing uh, my wife Sherry and I and so what I wanted to tell you a little bit about is the equipment we use so this year we've been uh, focusing on better sound and better lighting <laughs> and we have been buying some very good equipment and today I picked up kind of my final piece of equipment and at the what I want to do right now is I want to thank Love Your RV um, I think his name's Ken I'm not sure I forget but his site is called Love Your RV he's from Canada does a wonderful job of, of photography and videos and he showed what video, um, what equipment he was using, and it was exactly what we were looking for. Because here's what we use. I'm, I'm not going to show everything to you, but we uh, have two GoPros, and we'll use those for double angles sometimes. The problem with GoPro is they're one setting, but they're great for wide angle and catching uh, events, and so they've been wonderful. We have a uh, lots of our videos we use our GoPro and they're really great to walk with when we're walking around talking to you and then we also have much better uh, cameras for doing interviews uh, we have two different types of Canon cameras uh, T3i is one of them and another one's like a oh gosh 5D something anyway it's an older model it doesn't do videos but it does our photography and then last but not least, I wanted to show you the new toy. We needed something in between. <clears throat> something that the GoPros can't zoom in and can't see. Uh, like we tried to take pictures of an Osprey the other day and I had the GoPro in my hand. And when I went to go edit it, you couldn't see it and we couldn't put it in the video. So we wanted a camera that was to use on the field. And we saw kind of what we wanted. By watching Love Your RV's videos and he was showing his equipment but we didn't buy exactly what he has he's using a Sony HD and it does a great job for him but I wanted to kind of take it a little step farther so we actually went with the Canon the Canon is just like the Sony unfortunately it doesn't have a little cord that plugs right in it still does the same thing but it's got a separate cord but what we liked about it is it was a cow maybe forty to fifty dollars more. But it also has an audio plug-in, so we if we want to do some type of interview, we can put wireless mics on and get rid of the uh, wind noise and things like that. But it's designed to be in the field. So here's here's the camera itself. It's uh, just like the Sony. Has a protection in the front. Uh, what we liked about it was uh, just got out of the box and charged up is uh, right here is where our audio plugs in <laughs> and Cinder goes oh, is this up for me? <laughs> so down please thank you anyway um, batteries in the back and it has a little bit bigger um, viewfinder and it does tilt in several ways goes all the way around like so um, and we're going to use it this weekend at Ocean Shores, Washington State, at a kite festival. They're having a kite festival this weekend. And so the next video I'm telling you about is going to feature some 
photography from this camera. I have no idea how it will work. It also has image stim uh, uh, stabilization and it has zoom capabilities that we didn't have on the field. So we're looking forward to trying it out. We hope you uh, subscribe to this video and make sure that you watch our next video to see how well we do with it. It'll take a little practice to get used to merging it in with our other types of videos. So but I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Um, RV Travel Buddy, of course, is our partner, and uh, we own it. <laughs> but uh, so this year has been a big, big growth for RV Travel Buddy in improving our equipment, um, introducing new websites, uh, new social, new uh, mapping. Uh, we have classifieds now, and we have some of our own products. And we even have hats here and stuff. And the hats are kind of expensive. Though. We have white ones that are really affordable, but these are over the top right now. But we're working on it. The more we buy, the lower we can get the price. Uh, you can um, order RV Travel Buddy stickers. And we'll have some smaller ones and we'll get the little magnetic ones. Because if you're like me, I don't like to put a sticker on my car or bumper. But if, uh, if you got a metal in the back of your car at all. We, we're getting little um, bumper stickers that are actually uh, magnets. They just put it in. It won't hurt your car at all. So anyway, that was just kind of a news update from uh, RV Travel Quest and RV Travel Buddy. And uh, you may notice that we actually share the same channel with RV Travel Buddy because this saves on confusion. However, if you go to the channel, you'll see that we um, categorize our videos by RV Travel Buddy, which is more pop for uh, repairs and tips and etc. Uh, RV Travel Quest is our personal um, endeavor in uh, RVing. And some really exciting things are happening this year there. And then we have some other videos too that pertain to different subjects on the same channel. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching RV Travel Quest. I urge you to please uh, subscribe. We'd love to hear comments from you. Uh, we are going to try a little harder to get on some of the hangouts. Uh, it's really hard. Our time is really, really spread thin. We are still working. We have to edit videos. I think one night I had to do three different videos. Two for our RV Travel Buddy, one for Paradigm Chimes. I own that too. And uh, so then we have all of our websites. Actually, our company owns over 60 websites. And so maintaining those, we have our own servers and we actually host our own clients when they want websites. And so it keeps us pretty busy. So it's really hard for us to right now until we actually maybe get a chance to full-time RV uh, to uh, get, uh, get on the sites and get on the forums and talk with people. Uh, we urge you to please leave your comments. If we don't leave a comment back, if it's a feedback and constructive feedback, we'll certainly uh, try to do it. And we're working on quality improvement this year and we're doing the best we can. And hopefully you'll see and hopefully you have seen the benefits of upgrading our equipment, upgrading our lighting, our audio. And we have some great, our, and we just, a year ago, just got a new RV. We're using a uh, RV Travel Quest, we're using a 3625 RE Montana, and we've got some really cool things going on with that, and we'll be sharing it soon. But uh, be watching for our next video. It's going to be really pretty. It's going to have a lot of kites in it, and uh, the Ocean Shores Kite Show is phenomenal. And if somebody really knows who we are, in the 90s, I actually used to own Cutting Edge Kites and used to fly on the Cutting Edge Kite Team, and we actually put some videos up. And if uh, uh, if you haven't been able to find those videos, you can type in Cutting Edge Kite Team and look for original Cutting Edge Kite Team because there was another one later after they bought our store. Um, anyway, you can actually see what we looked like when we were younger and skinnier. <laughs> so anyway, once again, thanks for watching RV Travel Quest. I'm Rob Scribner. And please take the time to subscribe and like our videos and come visit our Facebook. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye now.